La fungus. Ike. The fungus. <laughs> That's so funny. The nose and everything. Yeah. That's how you know. Meme Donkey face. Kong. All right. So Wilford Brimley versus Vorpal. And it sounds like I heard a Donkey Kong. Did you now? I may have it, just. Yes. There it is. Uh, Wilford Brimley's secondary is DK, um, but definitely not to be slept on. He's got a very solid Donkey Kong. Um, Vorpal opting for Ike. One of our many CSC members. Three, two, one, go! All right, so Pokemon Stadium. Good, good stage. Uh, I don't... Yep, they're practicing. They're, 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 do they're doing the hand warmers. Doing the hand warmers. They're doing the hand warmers. I was going to say, if it started off the way it did, that would have been an amazing. <laughs> immaculate read from Wilford Brimley just throw it up, up there. Yeah. The, uh, the knuckle heating <laughs> is, is what's going on right now. They're really getting the hand warmers in there. Really not sure if they're uh, ready to start. Gonna do some dancing instead. I mean, Smash is kind of like a coordinated dance. Yeah, in a, in a very. It's a, it's a uh, dance where you want to murder your opponent, but uh, <laughs> it's a dance off, you know? It's like the, it's like those classic movies, you know? Yeah. You get those yeah. dance offs, you know, happy ending and stuff. The first sort of Bravos, considered a. Uh, Sword fighting a bit of dancing. Well, I'm not sure if sword fighting versus a monkey counts. I mean, why not, man? Let's be inclusive here. Let's just be inclusive. It's 2015. Uh, was that a Nair or was that a... No, wait. That was a Nair from Ridley. Yeah, when he was uh, up above the... Uh, right spinning. Yeah, right. that was yeah. a Nair to follow up his up throw. Okay, I thought so. Yeah, D-Tilt intercepted uh, Vorpal there. But Vorpal's back on the stage. Grimley's been throwing out uh, quite a few back airs. Yeah, back air is a huge part of, uh, of Donkey Kong's kit. Wow, he's going to bring him all the way to the second platform with that upbeat. Warble definitely taking advantage of DK's uh, out of shield options. Yeah. And there will kill off the top at 163. Everyone's got to watch out too for uh, Ike's forward air because Ike's forward air covers such a big distance mm -hmm. and Donkey Kong is such a big target. Right. Yeah, so all, all the that, that have could to be worry dangerous. Out for yeah. Brimley got some, has some uh, distance to cover here. Oh, I bet he, he wanted to uh, either land with him on stage or bring Vorpal to the platform to follow that up. That was, that was a nice train there. Yeah, that forward air is going to be a bit tricky to get by. Yeah, Brimley's doing, being smart here and drifting back a bit before grabbing ledge. Back air got him off the stage, but he wasn't able to get the kill with it. But uh, and up air off the top. Up air would do it. Yeah, he's definitely going to want to try getting Vorpal off the sides more. Both of these kills have been both off the top at very high percents. Um, and because of that, he's been taking some extra damage. to grab. I'm trying to charge up that uh, that big punch there. I don't know what that's called. Donkey punch. Donkey punch. He's got a charge now. Sounds like a brand of fruit punch. I would drink it. And another up air off the top. 
with Donkey Punch in hand. Ooh. Went for glory. You have to appreciate the attempt. Oh, yeah, definitely. That, w that would have been pretty cool. Shame it didn't hit. He's still in a great spot here. Still chasing. Got Vorbal to 88% now. Sitting nice and pretty at 12%. And another Donkey Punch ready to go. Ooh, there it is. Nice. The poop special. Nice stuff. Up throw to Donkey Punch. The, the aggressive punch. Oh, yeah. Donkey Kong. So deciding to go Donkey Kong, obviously paying off for him in this this set. Yeah, I was looking a bit risky at first, but uh, he pulled it off. He pulled, yeah, he pulled it together. Um, the last couple stocks looked pretty convincing. Uh, let's see where Vorpal takes him. All right. The run back. Okay. Okay. Respect the hustle. This is a great stage for Ike. He's got a lot of room to. Some platforms around. to work with, but not too many to right. help his opponent avoid him, really. Very aggressive start for Vorpal. Yeah, he's going to have to try and find a way to catch Rimley as he's drifting back, grabbing ledge after his up B. Uh, right now, Brindley's been doing a great job of, of uh, avoiding all of his stray hits. Only 21% extra credit here. I don't know. I mean, he'll, he wants to get the edge guards, but like he's been. De I mean, both of them have been doing a significant amount of damage to each other on stage. Oh right, they're to the point where they're just yeah. I mean, neutral. Doesn't and even need the edge guard. Just smacks him, and he's like, "Well, I guess I'll lose the stock now." Nice side beat. I'm kind of curious what he wants to get out of uh, when he when he throws up in the air, when he throws uh, down air out to knock his opponent down into the stage. Uh, Brimley, right? What does he want to follow that up with? Is it because? I mean, after that he can tech chase, he can grab. Um, he's probably going to want a cargo throw after that. Um, I've seen Shane or Poop uh, get a lot of luck from getting that down air and then following up with a, either a grab or a falling back air. Just misses that fair. The back air, I believe. Still pretty even here, but Vorpal would uh, try to yeah, pull away Ike, on this. Ike can uh, put some percentage on there real fast. Oh yeah, as we've seen, both of these players have been taking advantage of their uh, of their neutral situations. Oh, that won't quite kill. That'll do it. Yeah. Pretty Vorpal good. sitting at uh, just 19. Yeah, pretty good DI from Brimley, but. Uh, there's a point where the percentage is just too high. Vorpal got something to work with here, but he was still has got to be careful because uh, anything could happen. Takes it back. Grimly attempted to grab him. Probably, I want to say his back throw, but I don't know how good Donkey Kong's back throw is. Uh, definitely a good DI mix-up, but uh, I'm not quite sure either. Yeah, yeah. And he'll charge that F smash for the kill. Mm -hmm. 
So now Brimley in an interesting position. Oh, he's going to yes. change change to Snake now. Yeah. The danger of playing a big character against a character with a big sword. Big target versus big sword. Right. Can be kind of tricky. But he was doing pretty well with it. So. Yeah, as we saw in the first game, um, slow to start, but quick to finish. So it's going to be Brimley's choice here. Playing Benning Snake. Dreamland and Smashville. I'm going to guess he'll go to Battlefield. That's my guess because he wants. I think he wants the platforms to work with. I think so. Uh, I'm not sure if he's going to want a wider stage or not. I mean, they both obviously have their advantages on, on wider stages. Yeah. Um, Ooh. I was right for what? once. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. One, One in 30. Go. Hey man, one out of thirty is still better than zero out of thirty. That's 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 what Confucius said. Anyways, uh, <laughs> so we have the army man versus the guy from the Renaissance Fair, and. Um, Interesting matchup. Yeah, definitely a difference in technology here. But, uh. Ooh, I don't know if he didn't see that or, or not, but just runs into uh, Snake's down smash. Ooh. He's gonna clip him there, but the Snake has a tricky recovery here. Being able to see for himself. Yeah, probably wanna try to. I mean, I don't know. I was gonna say, like, usually it seems like the way to go about edge guarding snake is to just try to back air him repeatedly, right? Like he'll come down from above the stage, try to back air him to knock him away. But like, I kinda wonder for Ike would be better to forward air, just because it's so big, you know? Yeah, any, it, any way to really throw out a big wall uh, is definitely it's probably gonna work the best. Good shield. I think he's, he still gets the sticky there, though, through the shield on the second attempt. That was, that was a bit dangerous. Um as we saw from Gorpal's end, trying to descend from above. Well, I mean, where else would you descend from? He tried to descend uh, onto Brimley there. He got punished for it. I don't know if he well placed grenade. was, if he particularly wanted to get a hit there, or if he just didn't think he had other options. But either way, uh, it's, it's risky. It's dangerous. At 138. Ooh. That would have been cool, but uh, he missed. But that happens. It happens. He's going to use the sticky that he placed on Ike to safely recover and bring it back to neutral. But a nice receding forward air to finish off the stock. Yep. And Brimley's got some work to do now. Ooh, we got the sticky. We got the sticky. And yeah. Yep. do it. Now he's gonna have to set up his traps pretty quick. Tricky sticky. They keep trading uh, center stage here. Yeah, stage control is very important on a on a symmetrical medium-sized stage like this. See, that's why I prefer Ooh. Pokey Floats. Can he recover? Oh. Uh, Exploits Vorpal's recovery by sending him way off to the side there. His side B's not going to be able to make it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, symmetrical stages, you got to have stage control, which is why I prefer Pokey Floats, because I don't got to worry about stage control anymore. Why, why don't we have Pokey Floats?